Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. In this video, we will configure field mapping when creating a problem from incident. Overall task is that when problem is created from incident, then problem should have same assignment group as incident. So let's see how you can configure this in your instance. There are two applications involved in this particular task. One is incident, another is problem. So you create problem from incident and you have to make sure that you are populating assignment group as well. You're basically copying it from the incident. So how you can do that? Now this is very, very easy because you can do it with the help of just a property. But where you will find that property? Will that property be available in incident application or will it be available in problem application? Now this is about copying a data and populating in problem. So ideally this should have to be in problem properties. So what you will do, you will just type problem in application navigator. At the bottom, you will see here in this module, you have this problem properties, which will show you all different properties related to problem management application. And if you will come a little bit bottom, you will see it says list of attributes that will be copied from incident to create a new problem. So here are different fields which will be copied when you create problem from incident. So as of now, we have these fields. Let's before we change it, let's go to incident and basically create one problem. So I will go to the open one. So we have these records. We will open this one and uh, let's update these mandatory fields as well, because this will definitely ask. So we will uh, make it pantry. I will select any configuration item for now. I will just select this one and I will select any assignment group. I will save this. And then I will just right click here and we have create problem. So if I do this, create problem, let's see what fields, uh, what data we will see on problem. So problem is created. It says first reported by, that's fine. You can see it got problem statement as the same incident short description. We got configuration item, but we did not get assignment group. That's the main thing, but we really want to do that. So in that case, if I go to this properties, so here I will just add in the end, I will just go in the end. So it is basically fetching all this data and I will just mention the name of the field that is assignment underscore group. That's a backend name of the field. So assignment underscore group and I will just click on here, save. So you are done. You have saved this property, but now we will validate whether it is working properly or not. So we will go to the list of incidents and we will just open any existing incident. So we have, let's go here and let's pull any existing incident, this one, and maybe I will just change this and I will add this one here and we will add this one and I will save this and then I will create the problem. So I will click on create problem you will see the difference this time and absolutely you can see problem is created previously assignment group was empty when you created the problem but this time because we updated this field value in that particular property now it is also copying the data from incident for assignment group as well that's how you can basically configure copying the data from incident to problem if you're creating a problem record directly from incident record.
Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.